Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1200. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we want to do conditional formatting to format these grades with icons, three icons, green, yellow, and red. In essence, to divide the grades into three categories, green, yellow, and red. Green really good, yellow in the middle, red not so good. So I'm going to highlight first home, conditional formatting, and ever since 2007, we've had all sorts of amazing options. But I'm going to go down to icons, and I'm going to use, oh, stoplights, R green, yellow, red. So I boop, and there we go. We have a bunch of greens. That's in the upper echelon. In the middle are yellows. And then at the bottom are the reds. Now I want to actually go look in Manage Rules how this rule is put together and then maybe consider changing it. So I'm going to go up to Home, Conditional Formatting, and it's Manage Rules. The keyboard is Alt-O-D. I can click Edit. I can double click, or I can Alt-E. And sure enough, here is the dialog box. So we have our icon style. You can actually choose to hide the number and show just the icons, which we'll do later on a, in a different example. But over here, here it is, Percents. And, oh yeah, it just went 67, 33. So it, in essence, took two dividing points and divided it into three places, right? 67 or above, between 33 and 67, not including 67, and then less than 33. I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to click Cancel. Close. Now watch this. I'm going to copy this. And when you copy values, it also copies formatting like those borders and conditional formatting. So when I Control V, no way. It totally got it. Now let's go to Alt O D, Manage Rules, Alt E for Edit. And watch this. What I'd like to do is actually have hurdles. There's the hurdle for green. There's the hurdle for yellow. And everything below is red. And those are numbers, right? So these scores here go from 100 to 0. So now I'm going to come over to type and say number and number. Now I have a collapse button here so I can link this. And now actually, this gets pretty tricky. I'm going to kind of like charts. You have to delete it and then click on 75, tab, tab, tab. That's a lot of tabs. I'm going to delete that. And then come over here and get that 62. And so now these will be assigned. And notice the dialog box isn't polite, but this green is going to be 75 or above. The yellow is going to be below 75 all the way to including 62, right? And this is everything less than 62. When I click OK, click OK, there we go. And let's just try this. So I'm going to try exactly 75. 75. Yeah, it's green. 74, 74, it's yellow. And I'm testing considering what limits I have here. So if I put a 62, it better be yellow. 62. 61, 61, and boom. So that's working. Control Z, 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 Z. Now let's try this one other way. I'm going to highlight this Control C, right click, and right here I'm going to say Paste Values. And I'd like to add the icons next to this. Now, what I want to do with this one is not only have the icon next to the number, but I want this as a template. So as I enter the numbers, the icons will show up. So I'm going to do a little formula here, equals if. And I'm going to use the isNumber function. And I'm going to ask the question, does the cell next to me contain a number, true or false? If it comes out true, then I want to go ahead and show the number. Otherwise, I'm going to show nothing. And the syntax for nothing is double quote, double quote. Now, that is a zero length text string. It is considered text in the cell, but it is what we use to show nothing. Close parentheses and Control Enter to populate that formula all the way down. Now, if we deleted all these, right, none of these show up. Control Z. Now, we want our icons here. So watch this. I'm just going to copy Control C, right click, and paste formatting only. Boom. Now, Alt-O-D. And we want to go Edit Rule and Show Icons Only. Click OK. Click OK. Now, when I highlight 
and delete, I can just enter my grades. A 98, a 52, a 68. And that is amazing. Now, I just hit pause and then uh, added some stuff here because we didn't talk about what was happening here. If I highlight this in Alt O D Alt E, this looks pretty strange. 67%, 33%, right? So you'd, you'd think that 67 was the cutoff, but look at this. Oh, there's a 69, 60, 65. Wow, how in the world is Excel dividing this set into three pieces? Well, sure enough, here's the algorithm. So if I take the min plus whatever the percentage is we enter there, times the range, which is the max minus the min, boom. That gives me the hurdle for the upper group. And that gives me the hurdle that divides the second and third group. And we could test this. We could come over here. And if I type 77.88, boom, that one's green. But as soon as I type 77.87, that is the dividing line. That becomes yellow. If I were to type 56.12, boom, hey, that doesn't seem like it should work. If this is our rule and this one is the lower limit for the first group, this one is not the lower limit. This is the upper limit for the last group. But nevertheless, this is a close approximation that tells us what the dividing lines are. Now I'm going to control Z, 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 and get back to that 78. All right, in this video, we saw the built-in percentages for our three set icons. We then built our own based on some numbers. And then we even had a cool little formula over here. So as we enter our grades, boom, our icons show up. All right, we'll see you next video.